Fidel Caffey has always maintained his innocence. They frame us. But a jury determined Caffey was one of three guilty in one of the most gruesome crimes in our area. In 1995, a pregnant Deborah Evans was murdered, her daughter and son also killed, her full-term baby cut from her womb. The baby survived. Fidel Caffey has always said his then-girlfriend Annette Williams and one of her friends, Vicky Iaculo, presented that baby boy to him early on the morning after the murders and that he had nothing to do with the killings. Now, a federal judge has issued a court order calling for a closer look at his case and a closer look at Vicky Iaculo's involvement. We first reported back in 2001 that in police reports, Vicky Iaculo admitted that she made a fake birth certificate, that she bought the gun used in the murders, and that she she admitted to disposing of that gun and that she called three people the day after the murders to ask how to remove gunpowder residue from her hands. She was charged with obstructing justice and a weapons violation. She pleaded guilty. After that story, we learned even more about Vicki Iaculo. We found Kara Walker. Their daughters were friends. In the days after the murder, Walker claims Iaculo made explosive claims to her. She said that uh, she'd never, she better not get hung up in all this. She better not get in any kind of trouble for it. She had better not even have to go to court for it because she was dealing and supplying drugs to her attorney. In turn, he was supplying and she was supplying to other members of the DuPage County State's Attorney's Office. The federal judge in his order specifically mentions Kara Walker's account. It also mentions Dwight Pruitt, a witness for the prosecution, an admitted drug dealer who says he witnessed deals to a specific prosecutor from DuPage County, claims we first reported in 2004. So you actually witnessed, even though yeah. you didn't make the deal, you yeah. witnessed the deal? No. Well, one time at the Holiday Inn, one time at a bar and grill on Roosevelt, both of these allegations came to light through post-conviction motions for Caffey filed by his then lawyer, Richard Kling. It opens up all of the ev evidence depositions that we tried to get. These people are going to have to come in and testify under oath. Joseph Burkett is now a state appellate court justice, but in 1996, he became the state's attorney for DuPage County. Now, attorneys for a defendant in a brutal crime want to know if Burkett knew about allegations of drug use in his office, allegations we first brought to light in 2004. In 1998, DuPage prosecuted one of the most grisly murders in Illinois history, the killing of Deborah Evans and her two young children. Her full-term fetus was cut from her womb and survived. All three suspects in that case were convicted, and each conviction upheld in the state Supreme Court. A witness in those prosecutions, Dwight Pruitt, a former drug dealer, claimed to have witnessed drugs sold to one of the prosecutors on that case. That issue is now before a federal judge. Attorneys for the defendant want to ask Justice Joseph Burkett if, quote, you or any of your agents in the DuPage County State's Attorney's Office investigated the allegation of drug use. They also want to ask why this woman, Vicki Iaculo, was never charged with murder. As we first reported in 2001, Iaculo admitted to buying the gun used in the crime, disposing of that gun, and producing a fake birth certificate for Deborah Evans' surviving baby. Iaculo was eventually charged with obstruction of justice and a weapons charge. Attorneys for the defendant hope to ask Justice Perquette to, quote, state the reasons the DuPage County State's Attorney's Office did not prosecute Vicki Iaculo for first-degree murder. We asked Prosecutor John Kinsella, who worked on the case, the same question back in 2001. If you just look at what's in police discovery, seems to point to more than obstruction of justice. Well, she was... Uh definitely intimately involved in this and was charged with certain offenses. Court records allege Vicki Iaculo told this woman, Kara Walker, quote, if Iaculo was going to go to jail for the crimes, she was going to tell everybody that she was selling drugs to some of the prosecutors over at DuPage County. Marion Brooks, NBC5 News. The court heard several issues today, but chief among them, the request to question Justice Joseph Burkett. He's now an Illinois appellate court judge. 
In 1996, Burkett was the DuPage County State's Attorney. Attorneys for a defendant in a grisly murder wanted to ask Burkett what he knew about allegations of drug use in his state's attorney's office during the time of the murder trials, and why this woman, Vicki Ayakula, was not charged with murder. She allegedly bragged to having sold drugs to prosecutors in the DuPage County State's Attorney's Office. Ayakulo allegedly telling this woman, Kara Walker, if Ayakulo was going to go to jail for crimes, she was going to tell everybody that she was selling drugs to some of the prosecutors over at DuPage. But questioning Justice Burkett may have to wait. Today, Judge Matthew Kennelly said it, quote, may make sense to hold off, end quote, at least until others have been deposed, questioned in person or in video under oath. The judge also recommended following a two tier deposition schedule. Among the top tier, Vicki Ayakulo, Kara Walker, former lead prosecutor, now judge John Kinsella, former DuPage assistant state's attorney Jeff Kendall, former DuPage assistant state's attorney Thomas Epack, former Cook County assistant state's attorney Colin Simpson. And among those in tier two, former DuPage assistant state's attorney, now judge Mike Wolf, and Dwight Pruitt the one-time drug dealer who first told us about alleged drug use in the DuPage State's Attorney's Office back in 2004.